Um, we're very blessed to have great coaches, but at the same time, um, you know, you try to do everything you're taught and you sometimes forget who you are as a player because you're trying to be perfect. And I experienced that at the end of last season, just trying to run the plays, trying to be perfect, trying to do everything I was taught, all my notes, and it slowed me down and it caused a little bit of stress because you're trying to be, trying to do everything right. And then um, whenever we took a step back, we were able to just talk about different plays I liked, um, the way I like the offense, the way I like it structured, um, what I feel personnel-wise we do well, um, to where I could read and react and just play the game and just go out there and just see it and not have to think and just sort of go unconscious, get in the zone. So my whole thing was, you know, it's last week wasn't a tall task. I mean, any game is not easy in this league. So how do I get to the point where I can go on the field, be very comfortable and just get to where I can just read and react the play as opposed to think about it. And, uh, you know, I thought the coaches did a great job with the game plan last week. Obviously it was a unique week with everything going on, but we were able to go into the game, um, felt comfortable, always felt comfortable with everything. And we just went out there and we played ball. Didn't have to think too much, just had to play. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of thinking, but it was simple in my mind because I had seen it so much throughout my life. And I just, you know, went out there, read, react, play, trust my teammates. If it's not there, get the ball down. At times, you know, let the play come to me. And, you know, that's important um, being in that role. Um, you know, just trying to, I was just being who I am, just owning it. Now, how important was it to get that, to get that ball out, like you said, that looked like you were really uh, intent on not taking the sack? Yeah, I mean, I was just playing. Um, it wasn't really a thought process. I mean, we had plays called. Um, I know my reads. I know, you know, I'm trying to see what their defense is doing, um, read and react. But, you know, you just have to feel it sometimes. And getting the ball out, not allowing them to get sacked, because the sack gets you behind the change. It also gives their D-line momentum, their team momentum, the fans momentum. Um, and then if, we, if I can get the ball out, even if I get hit, it's a positive gain. We stay inside the chains, and we keep a rhythm to what we're doing. And a rhythm in football is very important. Nick, you, you've been both a, a starter and a backup during your career. How, how difficult is it to going from a backup who hasn't played in like 12 weeks to all of a sudden being the guy like in a big pressure, must win game and everything like that? Yeah, I mean, it's not easy. It's yeah. not easy at all. Um, that's where, uh, just like I said, you really have to, you know, through past experiences in my career, just lean on those, thinking about them. Um, you deal with a lot of emotions with this game, especially when you haven't played for quite a while and you, you play when it's not necessarily expected and you have to pick up the speed on a night game and doing all those things against one of the best teams in the NFL. But I think the most important thing is trusting your coaches and trusting your teammates and realizing that you're not the only one out there. All these other guys have been playing. You're the one that's feeling these emotions because you haven't played in a while. Just you, It's crazy how when you step on the field as an athlete, like you get nerves before the game, but you know when you step on the field, everything calms down. You know, you're just present. I talk about being present, being in the moment. Um, the most calm I was leading up to the game was actually in the huddle, in the game. And that's when you know it. It's just a crazy feeling. Any athletes probably felt it. Um, and that's where, you know, you trust your teammates. You let them make plays. And it's a team sport. And as you saw the other day, you know, it took our entire team 60 minutes to win that game. Yeah.